Mm -hmm. Put it over there because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be working right here. Okay. Put it right there. That's good. Put it right there because you you you. you and, in and, and if you come over here, hi everyone. Hello. We're trying to get Dr. Fruki and I set up properly uh, so you can done. see us and uh, enjoy the show. The Fertile Fireside Chat, Dr. Kiltz, Dr. Faruqi, CMI Fertility. Um, and so the fire. Well, you can't, but yeah, yeah see, you're, you're blocking the way. No, you're blocking He's always in the way, <laughs> isn't he? Let's see, Lauren, Fadi, Emil, Fisher, hello, Jalen, Liz, she, uh, Shini, hello, Lady. Olivia. Olivia, a pleasure. I hope you guys can see us okay. And uh, we're just sharing some thoughts and ideas how we can better, uh, better learn together. And uh, seven week old baby, all right, awesome. Uh, listen, from Miami uh, to uh, uh, let's see, what's in Maine? What's the top of for, Maine? For, uh, Bangor, Bangor, Maine, all the way down to uh, San Diego and up to. Seattle, uh, Alaska, oh, like let's Anchorage. go to Alaska, Anchorage, and out to Hawaii, uh, Fertile Fireside Chat, welcome. Affordability, access, quality, and integrating Eastern and Western. And our, our promise is that we will do our very best to share helpful information. And you guys have to dig deep also, and everything's out there on the World Wide Web. You have more access to scientific information that we had in medical school. Yeah, that's true. And, and I, you know, I always say spirit over science and faith over facts. That's the crazy one. Melissa, Rosanna, Asia, uh, Sarah, where do you guys live? Uh, share with us your travels. Uh, Mandy's from Texas there. And Mandy from Texas. Yeah. Hello, Michelle, Sarah again, Mandy. Uh, all of us sharing together no matter your size, shape, age, weight, gender, political, cultural, uh, religious, and, and color, we're here to integrate and help everyone uh, find a better way from natural. And look at, we're looking at Eastern and Western practices. And sometimes I'm, I'm learning that the science of the published Peer-reviewed journals might be snake oil. And if you haven't figured it out yet, look at DHEA and whether or not uh, it works or not. And I'm beginning to believe much of it might be snake oil. Oh, we're Toronto, from Toronto, Toronto yeah. Char from Toronto, hello. And uh, we're still working on our giveaways, uh, discounts. Uh, look at CNY Fertility is discounted IVF all day long already. And... Um, we're going to continue that affordability, and we're working to find all the secrets that you guys might have that might get you a baby on natural or with some assisted reproduction. Jessica, our team from Jessica, Dr. K2, Condra, and the, the team in Sarasota, rocking and rolling. We're really working uh, at getting uh, our Sarasota IVF lab up and running. I'm working diligently for March to June, and we're rocking and rolling with our Magarelli and Fink team in Colorado, uh, Dr. Verdi Alice in Atlanta. We're working getting Sarasota. Then we're going to work on Atlanta. And then maybe Southern California, because I'm the kid from L.A., and we're really excited about that and doing more there, by the way. Uh, let's see, Fadi, I live in... And actually, that's a really good point. So, uh, Fadi, uh, they live in Florida, and they went overseas to Jordan to do IVF. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Uh, we were hoping to do it in the U.S., but it cost too much. Um, at the end of the day, uh, we actually do a lot of global IVF. We, we have patients going all over the world, uh, coming to us. Coming to us from yeah. all over the world. Yeah. So honestly, when it comes bo at when the bottom line, I think we're cheaper. Well, uh, we're more affordable, yeah. and and we want to maintain that affordability, and we want everyone to know that our supplements, our molecular fertility supplements, and our Dr. Kiltz's nutritional solutions is really working to make sure we have affordability, and we are working with the pharmacies and the pharmaceutical uh, companies that make the products 
to make sure it's affordable. Yeah. And no one should be pushing or forcing anyone to sell something for a higher price when you can get it down the street for less. So look at a lot of the things that we're sharing here, by the way, and uh, you guys have to share the fact that maybe some of the things that we share aren't right or working. And I wonder again about DHEA and whether it's snake oil, uh, but um, listen, so many people are conceiving naturally. Uh, look at Kiltz's Keto Lifestyle. And my next hour is going to be talking about Kiltz's Keto and carnivore. But whether you're a vegan or a carnivore, we have a Kiltz's Keto Lifestyle for everyone. Uh, Fadi, we are, Dr. We're getting Dr. Fruki down to, down to Florida, by yes. the way. He has a Florida license. And we're working with Dr. Fink in getting Miami satellite uh, somewhere. We have, a, we have a clinic in uh, Sarasota. We, we're going to be doing IVF there uh, shortly. So all our, all our friends from Florida, you don't need to wait very long. We're going to be there soon. Uh, my name is Monette. Hello, yeah. how are you? Uh, let's see, Sarah McManus, two failed transfers, PGTA normal. Keep being told it takes a couple of times. Well. Uh, so much of what we're sharing, look at if you guys haven't seen the the uh, a family building guide, take a look at it on Amazon for paper, or you can freely download a digital copy uh, on our website. Uh, and and uh, it has a lot of good information. Don't forget laparoscopy, hysteroscopy for endo adhesions and the scratch procedure, or if you want to do the receptiva DX biopsy, the Emma uh, and the, Alice. The, yeah, the ERA, the, the, the trio. Right, the, well, the, the ERA and the ERP for, for frozen transfer windows could be helpful, laparoscopy for endometriosis. Uh, and, then, and, and then we talk a lot about the antimicrobial the anti uh, endo, but the uh, big the big thing is the immune system. It, well, the immune Infl inflammation. It's all about the immune system. Yeah, and and so many of the supplements we talk about, all of them might be completely unnecessary. By the way, and so much of what we are learning, and maybe maybe all of our supplements are no good, and it's snake oil. So many people, in my opinion, if you simply look at ooh. Look at Keith, uh, the Keto for Fertility, Maria Emmerich. Uh, we love you, Maria. Everyone should check out Maria's websites and all the amazing things that she's sharing. And Craig Emmerich, uh, there's a lot of stuff there that we've seen so many conceptions naturally. Uh, Kelly Hogan, oh, and uh, Fit and Fabulous. Uh, let's see, it, it's uh, Jamie Seaman, S-E-M-A-N, uh, Omaha, uh, 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 Nebraska, OBGYN that's sharing carnivore and keto and anti-inflammation. So check it out for sure. So if it's not working, listen. Well, there's two good questions right there. Sarah, who's saying Dr. Carly doesn't recommend ERA and we're getting discouraged after a third transfer. Now, we, how many doctors are we? Uh, quite a few, actually. Now, we're growing. We're growing. Uh, not every one of us has exactly the same opinion. Correct. And that's one of the good things about us, because you can get... No one really has the truth. That's the end of... That's the true story there. So you could talk to Dr. X, Dr. Y, uh, Dr. Kills has his opinions. I have my opinions. Of course, your opinions always win, but... Uh, that's the way it is. <laughs> but I, I have good, ex, uh, I have really good experience with ERA. It's an option yeah. that we need to be discussing. If what you're yeah. doing isn't working, ERA, ERP, yeah. receptiva, laparoscopy. Yeah. And what is Kills always going to say? Keto. Keto. <laughs> but, Kilt. but you know what you're really saying is you're trying to improve your environment for implantation. Lower inflammation. And, that's uh, really the that's key. That's a big thing. It's a big thing because with all the IVF progress that we've done, there's still people not getting pregnant, uh, even with normal embryos. And honestly, there's something else going on there. Well, it's all inflammation. And inflammation is caused by a high plant-based three to six meals a day. 
And when you go some form of keto, uh, it reduces a tremendous amount of inflammation. Yeah. It, it's quite amazing. I mean, it's not just in uh, fertility. People who have keto diet uh, notice they have less joint pains, they have less aches. Uh, well, Vanessa, Vanessa Rodriguez, thank you. Uh, the CMI Fertility Support Group, the Fertile Spirit, the Fertile Secret, but there's so many people out there. Uh, organic conceptions and so many fertility specialists out there. We highly admire them, bringing really good ideas that we can all do better. But Amanda's having a little bit of bleeding. Uh, in my opinion, this is where the antimicrobial might come in. This is my maybe switching from vaginal to oral or intramuscular shots. Up the steroids, intralipids, IVIG. And what's number one? Kilts is keto lifestyle. A game changer, by the way. How, how long does it take for keto to reduce inflammation? Two to four weeks. That's it. It's the most amazing thing. Sherlyn, how you doing? Never, ever give up. I think that's what you're saying, Dr. Fruki. Is that not correct? Yeah. Never give up. Uh, and and the, we, were, we were watching this video about Einstein's uh, uh, quotes. And one of the things he said was that the, de the definition of insanity is to keep on doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different outcome. So if, if it doesn't work, we'll try something different. Not everybody has the, their instructions written that come with it. With it. And... There's so many ways that we can find solutions. You know, we're, we're yeah. none of us know the right answer. No. And so many people have babies with a tremendous amount of disease and inflammation. So many people that seem to have little to no inflammation or not. So we're digging deep um, and we don't know the answer. And I always say our professional organizations, our editorial boards uh, and our peer reviewed journals are only sharing information that isn't absolutely true. And so we all have to dig deep and figure it out for ourselves. If what we're doing isn't working, we must change it up. Uh, and Van, you wanna get that question, doctor? Is there an advantage to starting stims earlier in your cycle? Last time they started me on day six and would like to start earlier. And I would like to start early, earlier. Well, I mean, in the beginning of your cycle, you're, you're actually recruiting more eggs. Uh, the latter half of your cycle, well, maybe, maybe, maybe. I always say maybe, and I, you know, it's it, look at. But but you know, so that's one argument. The other argument, uh, we do things like duo stim, which really have nothing to do with your cycle. We do an IVF cycle, we do a retrieval, and then like five days later, we go out there and do another one, smack in the middle or towards the tail end of your cycle, and that works. So I don't know if we really have a good answer for that. But but it but it I say whenever. It may be starting just before your period or with your period. With your period, if you're planning a fresh transfer, but you could start any time. I do a lot of low-dose human growth hormone, omnitrope, estrace, prometrium, and then just start at some point in that or get a baseline and get started. Uh, we think maybe estrace, prometrium uh, may help recruitment, but we don't really know that answer no. uh, at all. And, and what works in one patient? completely disastrous in another region. Mm -hmm. So we, we, it's a trial and error, and we've got to sit down with all our patients and find the right formulas that will help them. Yes, and and um, let's see. So keto, how far in advance before FET? Two to four weeks. Or even if you do the frozen transfer today, do it, by the way. Uh, hi, Dr. Kitsapri. What are your thoughts on mitochondrial, mitochondrial donation? donation? Yeah, so that's called the augment procedure. Uh, they pulled it out in Toronto, actually, but it's a British company that started it. Uh, the idea is fantastic, but the practice didn't work. Okay, look at the damage to mitochondria. Your mitochondria is good, and you're making new mitochondria always, but you're damaging it with your diet. If you change it to Kiltz's Keto Lifestyle, um, I call it the Linus and the Lion King plan. Basically, mitochondria is damaged by sugar. And sugar comes from fruit, fiber, vegetables, seeds, and nuts. And a recommendation be three to six meals a day. Do it in one at night before you go to bed. Game changer. And that's so much of what we've seen work. Uh, it, it's just amazing. So I think that it might be something. You, you can use donor eggs 
remove the nucleus, uh, put your nucleus in there. But ethically and morally, they, that's not accepted quite yet in well, science. But they've, they've, they've had pregnancies in yeah, but that. it's but it's it's unacceptable in most of our scientific fields. So if you simply stop damaging your mitochondria, well, then you might have the chance to get pregnant even naturally at so many ages. So that, 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 there are patients that we do IVF. Uh, they get pregnant after the fourth try, and then nine months later, they call us back and say, hey, we got pregnant by ourselves. What did they do different? Maybe it was the keto diet that they had adopted later. And it is. There it is, is a lot is, of things, yeah. Levels check. So DHEA may be snake oil of science, my friends. I'm beginning to look at the science of the doctors that did the studies. And the more colleagues I talk to, they say DHA doesn't help and it doesn't work. I'm not sure myself. So I'm I'm being sued for for sharing that DHA might help. But now that I'm being sued, I'm being like wondering why. You guys can get DHA over the counter very inexpensively, uh, but someone is charging more money for it, claiming that they've invented it. Uh, but I wonder about it, and I think we all need to do something in this worldwide craziness of medicine. It's well, money over mommies and patents over people, which isn't right, in my opinion. Well, I mean, there's, it's uh, unfortunate it's a business, and a lot of times it's monetized, not for the patient's best interests. That's correct, and I, I don't think DHA works personally. We're not supporting it uh, at all. Um, and but, but we used to in the beginning. We did because we believed the scientists that provided the science. Yeah, but it's uh, the data doesn't seem to find out. We do a lot of cycles a year, and when we start seeing things work, it doesn't take long for us to see it work. And, and I would and, say no to DHEA, by the way, yeah. as we're learning from our colleagues who say it doesn't work. Um, and, and those doctors that are strictly going after money uh, that's unfortunate in our business, uh, in my opinion. Hey, you can make a lot of money with snake oil. Hey, it's not what we're here to do, right? I know, I know. All right. Uh, dream team. Uh, listen, amazing. And we're learning from you guys, by the way. Uh, our job is crowdsourced. Now, meaning that our job is to provide the things that you find uh, that work, sharing affordability, whether it's acupuncture, massage, meditation, and prayer, whether there's a medication that you find that might be helpful, we all need to be sharing it in a way uh, that is helpful for us as human beings. Look at Michaela Peterson, by the way, on Carnivore. Look at uh, Kelly Hogan, by the way, on Instagram. Uh, look at Maria and Craig Emmerich. Look at, oh, I know, Sean Baker is another guy that I think is an amazing physician. Uh, look at his book on the Carnivore. Uh, and also... Uh, we talked a lot about Lodos naltrexone, and LDN, I think, is really helpful, but it's a drug, and we're working to lower the drugs that we need uh, to treat the diseases. We're also working to eliminate the term diet, and I'm going to be working on that in the 2022, because weight loss is not the goal of Kiltz's Keto Lifestyle. It's anti-inflammation. That's what we're really working to do for this in so many ways. There's someone from Montreal. So we are getting more and more patients from Canada. Canada is uh, uh, getting to be quite a- CNY a Canada, Canada. Yes. From all over the world, but we must be sharing an easy way to get access, affordability, quality, and honest information. Uh, when our, when our, when our scientists uh, are not putting out honest information and they're using a patent to uh, troll uh, and steal money, in my opinion, that's not right. And uh, just begin to look at it and share this information, in my opinion. We need to work to make the medical field more uh, affordable, accessible, and lower the cost because it's too high of a cost, and you know the suffering uh, from being infertile. Uh, best to buy molecular fertility vitamin over all of the prenatal vitamins. Over and over. Listen, our, our supplements are not better than so many others. We're just working to provide an affordable supplement. And so 
there are so many out there. There are logics, molecular fertility, uh, even again, I, I don't I don't know which is the very best one. The FDA and the FTC even are very, very careful about all of us making statements that we should not make. And we're working to be better ourselves. We're not the most, the best. We're simply another choice that you might find helpful, you might not. Uh, that's our job is affordability. Hey, we've got someone from LA. Uh, hey, a City Silver City. Lake kid, Silver Lake Echo Park in Hollywood. Grew up there, LA City College, USC, on to uh, UC Davis, and then back to LA for my fellowship at uh, Harvard UCLA. And now I'm in upstate New York, and that's how I met this guy. 26 years ago. Wow, it's crazy. Yeah. And I'm only 26, right? I know. I, I think I, I, uh, I delivered you. Uh, probably. You deliver you? Probably. And you're still trying to deliver me <laughs> out of my evilness. And look at um, uh, alive. Remember, we're all alive to share and learn from some master, whether it's Buddha, Lao Tse, Abraham, Jesus, or 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 or, or uh, uh, Mohammed. Find some belief system that's positive and helping us all learn better. Love thy neighbor, thyself, thy enemy, because we're all one. And by the way, my love for all the doctors that are in this, in this world of helpfulness is critical and key for all of us. I am, have no disrespect from the doctors that are suing me uh, for sharing uh, something that's proprietary and has a patent, I'm respectful to that. And we all want to make sure we're sharing affordability, quality access, and integration. Do you want to get that one, Dr. Uh, Lirona, hi. Uh, good morning. Two failed transfers scheduled for my third frozen transfer on Wednesday. Anything to do better uh, my chances at a, to have a positive pregnancy test? Well, hopefully you still, you're on a keto diet. Kilts is keto uh, lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, diets are dead, by the way. Uh, no matter your size or shape, no more diet. Yeah, actually, diet implies weight loss, which is exactly what we don't want. We don't, we're not pushing weight no, loss, no, right? No. So uh, there, are, there are other things we can do, adjuncts, uh, that can help for um, improving your odds. There's a intralipid that lowers inflammation. It's right there. Um, Family Building Guide has all of this in there, by the way. HCG wash. Um, acupuncture, um, and then if ultimately it doesn't work, then we have to start working on your whole cycle, including the immune protocol. That is a that has been a huge success in our practices. Uh, the immune protocol, Prograf, Plaquenil, Nupogen, Intralipids, Lovenox. It's it it is it has. I mean, honestly, I stand by it. It really, really, really works. And then the difficult cases. The scratch procedure, uh, hysteroscopy, laparoscopy, uh, PRP, HCG washes, Nupogen washes. So these are all things that can be really helpful. In some cases, it might require a gestational carrier. Don't give up on that, by the way. Electrolytes, especially when keto carnivore, do you increase salt intake uh, and recommend, uh, do you take supplements? If you really do Kiltz's Keto lifestyle. Okay, again, I'm going to get rid of the diet. That's working next. That's my 2022 promise to all of us. Uh, but yes, salt is one of them. Uh, I do recommend salt, magnesium salts. But um, if it's your plant-based diet, add fat, cook the carbs well, and only one meal a day, which is the rock solid, most amazing part to this. Uh, it, and again, we're going to talk more about that in our next hour. I'm, I'm the guest today uh, uh, talking about uh, uh, conversations with kilts, which is carnivore mostly, <laughs> and also vegan and vegetarian and Mediterranean. All of them together are a possibility for everyone, by the way. Uh, Epstein-Barr virus cause infertility. Probably. So Epstein-Barr virus... Uh, what's the, the other one? The, uh, uh, there's so many viruses out there. Look at COVID and now the Om Omicron and the Delta. Remember, we are just another organism that those other organisms want to feast on. And so 
that's the amazing, crazy story to all of this. We're just all of this. And all of us in some way are working on feasting on something, <laughs> right? Yeah. Eat or be eaten. Eat or be eaten. <laughs> and plants, by the way, are live organisms. And if you're eating vegetables, you're killing a vegetable. And in my opinion, vegetables cause cancer and all the diseases if you're eating them in any significant amounts. I know it sounds ridiculous. Uh, Dr. James, Dr. K2, Andrew, oh, hey. Uh, let's see. After FET and initial lipids, should interrupt as we continue weekly? Yes. M more so if you have a history of uh, having uh, previous problems related to immune. Right, but, but we know that if you're infertile, it's an inflammatory condition. And so weekly lipids to 12, every two weeks to 28, and every four weeks to term. But what's the best way to get fats in your body? It's, it's a game changer. I know it doesn't make sense, but uh, let's see. Got pregnant naturally three times, and I've got pregnant from IUI miscarriages. Progesterone shots could be helped. Yes, beautifully spoken too. And immune three and four. Look at the family building guide and look at Kiltz's keto lifestyle for fertility. And uh, uh, we are, I'm not quite a hundred percent sure, but uh, uh, you got to look at uh, keto for fertility cookbook with Marie and Craig. Now I'm a little boring, aren't I? I never said that. He says it all the time. Now the beauty is, is that he puts up with me <laughs> and I put up with him. We're, we're, but nobody else can put up with each other. Uh, no one else. No, no, that is the truth. I mean, uh, he, he talks a lot, and I talk a whole lot less, but we have the same problems. We have many of the same problems. Yeah. And fortunately, we're all on this journey together, and um, <laughs> for whatever reason, but again, likes and loves and shout outs and a lot of faith trumps everything. There's a good question there by Jahar, Jai, Jahira Bacon. Uh, can you recommend something for improving? Sperm quality for someone with a low sperm count, morphology, and everything else. So um, our molecular fertility male supplements, carnivore guys, carnivore. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to do the same to me, by the way. <laughs> now, listen, I know this all sounds like the most ridiculous story you'll ever learn. But it really works. It works. It does. Uh, just again, yeah. look at Sean Baker, Paul Saladino. Look at, oh, Ken Berry uh, and Nisha Berry. Actually, do you know why no, very few people want to talk about this? Because you cannot monetize this. Oh, That's one of the look reasons at, why. I'm going to get a patent on my words. Yeah, Kills and Keto, so Kills is patent. Keto patented. And if you talk about this, you you're going to pay me money. But if you guys all share it with everyone, it's open access. And um, I'm here to give it away for free. Remember, Kills is Keto Lifestyle. You can be a vegan, a vegetarian, a Mediterranean, a pescatarian, a paleotarian, or a carnivorian. Linuses and lions we be. I love pigs, cows, and sheep. They're grazing animals. Uh, and we're not. We're the hunters. And when we all, this, like, this does not make sense to me in my scientific endeavor of learning. But I've been lied to by the scientists that have the patents that want to make the money and control the masses. Look at guys and gals. We're just controlled by the masses. It's time that we shine our strong lights of individuality and stop listening to the muck out there. Zymot, Deanna, uh, if you want Zymot, just ask for it. We, we, we had a complicated system going here, but we just changed Simplified it. Simplified it. You wanted to ask for it. I don't know if it works better, by the way. And, by the way, how, what's the principle of time? It's a swim up technique that may get the very best sperm who swim up to the top. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we need. <laughs> um, it's kind of like a membrane, and we put the sperm there, and we think that the best sperm can pass through the membrane, but there's no real. 100% evidence that and that actually changes. Look, it. We, we are sharing our knowledge as yeah. if we know better than all, anyone. We don't. Yeah. We're only sharing our experience. That's the amazing thing to but, this. But point. we do use Zymon 
And, we uh, offer it and if you, you want, want it. it. Yeah. And look, at, if I can say it's the best, I can't. We charge extra. We added we added uh, uh, embryo glue to our transfers. Um, that, we, that's for free, by the way. <laughs> you know, nothing's for free. Yeah. It's it's included in our IVF and transfers. Mm -hmm. Zymot is a device to put sperm in that might improve its its uh, getting the the lower inflamed or the better sperm, maybe. But again, if you're the company that writes the paper and also has the device, maybe it's, our it's, science isn't always perfect. And, and it's not just in fertility, it's all, all of us. Medicine. Look, you don't, even, yeah. don't even trust this guy or this guy. Uh, this guy, right? Uh, and, this guy there. <laughs> and listen, no patents here. You right. guys can share everything we share and everyone and anyone is welcome to all of this. Listen, that's our job of life is sharing. And I think Dr. V says sharing is caring. Dr. Bertie Alice, we love you. Uh, it's amazing, by the way. Soon after the best, but not sure how soon. Uh, let's see. Not boring. <laughs> uh, boring. Oh, by the way, I always say, why? Look at bacon, eggs, butter, beef, intermittently feasting, occasional ice cream, and salt. Boring is the best way to a baby because if you have boyfriends or girlfriends on the side, someone's going to get in trouble, right? And, you know, I'm learning from our fancy scientific doctors who are at the top of the game that I honor every day and learn from. Uh, check out Dr. Randy Morris. He's got a fertility TV YouTube ch channel. He is rocking and rolling, sharing some really great thoughts and ideas. Uh, but do not, do not trust and believe him or him. We're just sharing ideas that you guys are all bringing to the table. Stacy uh, Uchiyama, what do you got there? What's the question? Uh, what, what might cause thickening of an endometrium? I lost my son. Oh, that's too bad. 22 weeks and four days. L later, I had an ultrasound showing thickening. And then COVID hit, so I have an OB-GYN. What's, what's the cause of all damage? Inflammation. Inflammation. But uh, here, it's likely that after you lost your child, there might be a piece of placenta or a polyp in that lining. So there's all kinds of tests. What should we, we do? Hysteroscopy. Uh, hysteroscopy, a sonohistrogram. Um, look, look and see. That's yeah. the very best yeah. way, way to do that, by the way. Laparoscopy, saline sonogram is just a preliminary, but I would do that. And uh, do you recommend the COVID vaccine overall? It's probably more beneficial than not, but who makes the decision of your health and wellness? You. You do. We're only giving thoughts and ideas, but ultimately you must be in charge of your own health. The miracle machine. Yeah. Remember, the miracle machine is you guys, right? That's the craziest story in all of this. The miracle machine is you, by the way. Jackie, 2019, laparoscopy schedule this week. Multiple miscarriages. Said multiple uh, field transfers. Huh? So multiple mis. Oh, we got to bring that back. Well, how long after you do the laparoscopy can she start another retrieval and transfer? Uh, for, for my patients, not long. As soon as you get over the surgery. Right away. Yeah. Right away. Yeah. Za. Za, 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 Zena. 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 Uh, stage four endo with laparoscopy four months ago did estrogen priming clinics wants to do fresh transfer Monday clinic doesn't have immune protocol except for medrol for five days as fresh or frozen it's, it's, have uh, them look at the family building guide by the way yeah. and and tell them that uh, that the immune protocol three and four might be something they might want to do there's another thing you could do that might work, uh, uh, and Re Re Receptiva is the test that actually uh, is looking for endometriosis. You but she already has it. You need it because you had the laparoscopy. But the principle here is if you have la uh, endometriosis and we do a, a suppression uh, of uh, estrogen suppression for a little time, it actually improves implantation. And pregnancy rate. And, and that's where, so two to four months of Orlis and Letrozole, Lupron and Letrozole. But what do you control more than anything? Yeah. What you put in the mind and the mouth. Yeah. Have faith first, faith over facts, spirit over science, and lies, damn lies, and science is my new 
uh, conundrum. If you look at uh, Mark Twain, uh, lies, damn lies, and statistics, ultimately, we're simply publishing our papers in order to prove something that isn't provable, unfortunately. But the patent office will give you a patent on a method of treatment, even though you might not be correct. Uh, so you might try that, but but uh, for maybe 60 days, should be on letters all right, 60 days, and or Alyssa. Yeah, so two, two months usually uh, will improve uh, according to some uh, studies, uh, up to 30% more implantation. Uh, Kristen Gray asked about who benefits from an omni for retrieval. My team needs to get, everyone may benefit from a little bit of human growth, either in STEM or two to four weeks prior in a priming cycle. Yeah. Uh, kills his keto lifestyle, Omni, Omni. Um, this is where the molecular fertility supplements may help, by the way. There is no scientific proof that supplements are necessary. And even to the point where you suffer from a vitamin D deficiency, or other vitamin deficiencies, guess what? Change in from a diet to a livid plan, Kiltz's keto lifestyle. But remember, I've only given you a label based on what I believe, but there's so many people out there that have changed the game uh, that I think is really helpful. But two to four weeks of Omni, do you recommend any longer? Well, uh, you know, the typical patient will give it to if someone has low reserve, uh, but two to four weeks is really what we do. Because you don't want to give it too long either, because then you have other problems. Coming. And, and even yeah. DHEA for low reserve may not even work, by the way. The science may be incorrect. And so why would you spend this much money on DHEA when you could spend this much money uh, on a different, uh, and whether or not it works or not, again, it might be harmful for more and more that I'm learning. Hey, Rob, where can we get that shirt? In fact, let me just tell you, he never gave me a shirt like that either. I, well, so Shanika is asking that question. Shanika, hi. So <laughs> the, the, I don't know that, but we're going to put it out there and look at believe, but you got to believe in yourself, number one, for the goddess and the gods are within all of us, by the way. Um, and so that's the amazing part. Uh, Linda Howard says, Omni works. And so team, I don't care what your diagnosis is. Human growth omni may helpful. The problem is, just like DHEA or any of these other things, the studies aren't exact. So we're sharing a lot of ideas that you're going to look at and say, I want to do that. I want to try that. And I got to tell you, the doctors that have shared DHEA, the science, have helped a lot of people. But if we're working on our pocketbook, uh, money over mommies, uh, patents over people, something is wrong. wrong. And we know that. We went into medicine to help people and not to uh, just help ourselves in all of this. Uh, but again, honor, because people want to make a living and live a beautiful life, but when it's at the, um, uh, what's the right word I'm looking for here? Uh, hurting humans, that's not right no, in this process. No. If, uh, Dr. Gondra wants the shirt too, by the way. We'll get, look at, we all look at, all right, we're, we're going to get this shirt. We're going to get the <laughs> shirts and believe by CNY, but, but again, we're as special as all the other fertility centers and doctors out there. Even when we might not agree, there's, I know there's something good in everyone out there that we're working to provide affordability, quality, and access and not put others down, but let's build everyone up in a way that we can do better. And patent trolls, they say, are working just to, to for money and not for solving the problems. If you invented something that you should get the credit for, we wanna make sure that you get the credit and even the economic benefits of that. But the last I looked, I learned about DHEA from the, from the, the peer review journals and the science that we all talked about, but I'm really wondering, is it all snake oil? Got a shirt. We'll get you one then, Dr. K. Plants causing cancer. I know it sounds ridiculous, but heroin, cocaine, marijuana, glucose comes from kale and lettuce. I'm sorry. And fiber creates fermentation in the bowels, makes alcohol, aldehydes, heat, gas, and deadly. Uh, I, I changed my, I changed from a diet 
and I was dying, bowel bleeding, arthritis, hemorrhoids, you don't want to know about that, uh, kidney stones, migraines, um, neuro neuroses, and all of it gone. And the more I learned from Marie Emmerich, Ken Berry, um, Sean Baker, uh, Kevin Stock, and the more I, I've been doing this for over 10 years now, and it's a game changer. Vegetables make us vegetables. Uh, and I will bet a billion dollars that that vegetables and plants cause cancer. Uh, and that's the game changer. Uh, but don't believe me or trust me. Just if what you're doing is hurting you, you got to go to one meal a day. And if you want to be the lioness and the lion, what do you do? What did we have for dinner last night at the Lemongrass? Sue and Billy and the entire <laughs> team there. What did we have? Steak. Steak and lobster and oysters. But we did have some ice cream afterwards. Look at from time to time, some fries, a martini, cake cookies, and ice cream. But if it's every day, three to six meals a day, no, no way. How many meals did we have yesterday? One. One. If you do it in one and treat the number one, remember, who's the number one? You are, my friends. Uh, nutritional solutions. Uh, Emily Baker, amazing, amazing. Look at We've been sharing this story for a long, long time. But ultimately, listen, Thanksgiving is a celebration of our indigenous roots. And we must honor all the indigenous peoples of the world who ate and hunted. But we've been fed a crock of shit by the experts at the scientific level that has been feeding us, guess what, snake oil in order to fill their pockets and again, we honor those to make money reasonable, but it's snake oil. And when I went back to my roots, savages, right? Well, we were designed to eat meat. Meat, even at teeth. These are, these are teeth of carnivores. You will never, animals. you will never see meat in your toilet. That's the amazing part. But when you see corn and lettuce all day long, I call lettuce in nature's toilet paper. Look at. We are not, we are not lions to attack an animal and take it down, but we learned how to make spears and hunt in packs like wolves and the pride of the lions. That's who we are. Respect to everyone's choice of food, by the way. But if you want to get to the roots, that's it. But Shannon, you're right, the chemicals that are sprayed on the plants, but my friends, the plants make more chemicals to kill people. Heroin, cocaine, marijuana, nicotine. It goes yeah, down the list. Yeah. It's made by the plants, but we've been tricked. And you think it's Monsanto and Dow Chemical. Uh-uh. Plants are deadly. When you begin to look at, oh, look at uh, uh, Gundry. Stephen Gundry, amazing in his plant paradox. And Kevin Stock, you got to look at Kevin Stock and meat health. These things I didn't believe, by the way. Look at, I was pretty much a vegetarian. I ate lean meat from time to time. And then when I eliminated all the vegetables, out of control. Look, I, yeah, that's true. You became out of control. I saw the difference. There's no way anyone can control you anymore. No one, no one, no one, no one, no one, no one. No. Cycles, uh, 30 days. Uh, yeah, so my cycles are 30 plus days. Could that affect what day the FET is on? Does FET success rates increase on right. second, third? Well, obviously, when we do FET, depend, unless we're doing natural cycle FET, we're pretty much controlling the environment ourselves. So it doesn't matter how long your cycles are. And to answer your second question, obviously, the more transfers that you do, that your cumulative pregnancy rate will be increasing. However, the pregnancy rate per transfer might stay the same. And if you're doing more and more transfers, you're not getting pregnant. What is, what's that guide there? You should look at this guide because um, there's a lot of things that could be done. Right. Look, and, 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 and the whole part to this, by the way, yeah. is there's a lot of information that we gleaned from so many experts. And I apologize if we're not listing all the sources, but there's open source information today. And if you find it, we'll be glad to open up to do it if that's what you want to do, by the way. Uh, but 
But the most important part is this is where laparoscopy, spiroscopy, keto, immune three and four protocols come in in all of this, right? And uh, they really work. They do. They do. They do. They do. Just they like do. the keto diet actually also really, really works. Keto lifestyle for fertility. And we are going to yeah. do fit for fertility. Diet. We all do. <laughs> we got, we're going to eliminate the word wait, wait. diet yeah. to live it plan, baby making plan. And there's nothing more valuable and important in life we know than our families, our children, our parents or siblings. But we have to honor all human beings in this world, in this life. The more we can honor more and more and more, the better. Now, again, Craig and Maria wrote a book on carnivore. But again, vegans, vegetarians, in my opinion, we need to find honoring ways to simply eat one meal a day, add the fat, cook the carbs well, and it's nuts. Mosaic embryos we transfer. We've seen so many normal babies, by the way. Mm -hmm. Really, really helpful. Uh, Lisa has Palmer. How long are PRP's beneficial to improve retrievals? Uh, quality of uh, a quality, AMH almost two, getting 10 to 15 days per retrieval. This is maybe where intrauterine PRP might be more valuable than intra ovarian, yeah. but no one really knows that exact answer. Um, you're going to have to do a lot of your research on you. Know, we offer it. Again, we're not making any promises to these things. There have been infections from BRP, and women have lost their ovarian function, especially those that have significant diminished ovarian blood flow and function. This is where intrauterine PRP high volume may be beneficial, maybe once a month for three months. But what's the most important thing that we should be sharing with everyone? Bring it up here. <laughs> right? Kiltz's keto lifestyle. Again, we're going to eliminate the word <laughs> diet. Uh, Julia, it's uh, oh, uh, uh, let, oh, fiber is deadly, by the way. Don't eat fiber. Uh, and look at Snake River Farms. Now, by the way, wherever you buy your food, uh, you want to get and you can even more more affordable foods and meats. I think are good. The, you don't have to buy the most expensive. In my opinion, add the fat, cook the carbs well, and minimize the frequency of eating. Uh, Ada, uh, always a pleasure, and thank you for everyone's words, by the way. Uh, we're, we're here for everyone's what? Yes. Success. And uh, I'm, again, learning from so many meta amazing people out there, doctors at every level, and I honor the scientists that are writing the papers and sharing the ideas uh, and and we need to be honoring of everyone out there by the way we never say to a patient that they will not succeed because i've never seen someone not succeed as long as you don't give up and be open to adoption yeah. donor eggs embryo sperm gestational carrier be open to being happy exactly where you are right now that's the most important part of this by the way can, uh, can we talk about ERA tests uh, after miscarriages? Would that be beneficial? Well, I don't know the answer, but the scratch might be. ERA... Well, th there's two things here. First of all, ERA is uh, uh, mostly done for finding the window of implantation. Now, if you're having miscarriages, that means you've already had implantation. There could be things that can modify your window of implantation that could also be causing miscarriages, like infections and excessive inflammation but it's a it's the investigation is a little bit different when you have recurrent miscarriages it, it, it's inflammation the era era peak may be helpful uh maybe change the window a little bit although people think if you had implantation the window was right yeah but this is where i think you need to look at the anti antimicrobial antihistamine the anti-endo protocol Laparoscopy, hysteroscopy can be very helpful. And by the way, immune protocol too. Well, the immune protocol is yeah. correct. Yeah. Right, 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 right. So that, and so the other thing is I use sugar cane sugar for my ice cream because we're built to eat sugar. We're built to eat fruit in the narrow part of the season when it was available. Uh, we're not meant to eat fake sugars in my opinion. And we're not meant to eat sugar every day all the time. This is why three to six meals a day is deadly. 
no matter what you eat, do it in one, by the way. Uh, let's see. Uh, God, hubby, limitless beauty. Uh, how are you today? What do you think about melatonin supplements? They may be helpful. I don't know the science behind it, yeah. but vitamin D, uh, the ADEK supplements are fat soluble. Eat the liver, but if you don't want to eat liver or the uh, beef uh, organs, try our nutritional solutions. Uh, Kiltz's nutritional solutions. Again, I don't have prospective randomized double blind placebo controlled. I'm simply sharing some supplements to make them more affordable and learning and manufacturing from those that are already doing a good job. That's the amazing story here, by the way. Beck Stanley. I had blighted ovens and chemical pregnancies with the local clinic. Then I switched to CNY. I had a complete fail with the tested embryo. This is after keto and protocol three. I do not understand. Well, you might look at protocol four, but a lot of it, even a normal embryo might not be normal, right? And at best, a normal embryo has a 60% chance of uh, uh, live birth. So there's more than just the normality in the embryo. But it might not be normal because we're only measuring certain things about the embryo. So that's the interesting part of it. But this is where it might be back off all of these things. Do a letrozole trigger and transfer and do less because less may, less may be better and better and better, by the way. Uh, and by the way, there are a lot of other great fertility centers that have have some tricks that might be the thing for you. So don't give up. Uh, by the way, keto is a label. To me, carnivore is the game changer, real carnivore, which means meat, fatty meat, liver, bone broth, bone marrow, uh, uh, organ meats. Uh, but again, these are just crazy ideas that I didn't understand any of those, by the way. Another retrieval in January, Modify Natural. Uh, uh, and again, if you have some ideas that you learned back from someone else, we'll be glad to look at that and offer that uh, for sure. Roseanne Ramirez. Let's uh, make sure I uh, uh, cried when he did my... Look at you guys, We're, if you would like to pray or not pray or meditate or not meditate, or you just want to get it done and get out of there, uh, we're here for you. Share your stories, share what you believe or don't believe. Uh, we are here to listen and learn from everyone on this great, amazing journey, by the way. Normal embryos, when I had a DNC, my OB test the embryo came back normal. I'm so lost, I've been, uh, listen, Doing keto in case the car, well, again, if what you're doing isn't working, keep doing it, but change it up a little bit. Uh, have faith. Carnivore, 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 carnivore. That's the crazy one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, let's see now. Let's go back. Let's come down. Let's come down here. Why don't you get that one? Uh, from uh, the journey through IVF. My next transfer with CNY in Colorado is in January. I was out of Omnitrop end of October. Should I stop until beginning of January? I'm worried now that you guys mentioned it shouldn't be used past four weeks. We didn't say we that it shouldn't be used past four weeks, but we don't want to leave people indefinitely on Omnitrop. Number one, it costs a lot of money. And number two, long-term use of growth hormones has other issues. But like an extra week here and there. But matter. I don't know that we know the answer to this absolutely. And yeah. there's so many, there's so many opinions out there. And remember opinions uh, but I would say that two to four weeks is a good number that I recommend, but I don't have any real studies to know whether two to four months or two to four years uh, in, in any of this. Uh, yeah, so, but just I, I, but you, you have to point out that if you start taking growth hormone for long periods of time, there, you know, there's a, a growth problems that start happening and, you know. I don't know. Again, I, I, there, I, are, there are some problems, but we never use it for that long. Yeah, I would say two to four weeks is a good way. You might do it just with your stimulation potentially, but this is where we do, I do a lot of mini dose, low dose protocols, 10, 220. I like letrozole 10, 200 of gonor or falstim, and 20 of lotus HCG, or 150 of gonor or falstim, and 75 of menopure. An interesting good way to possibly do that, by the way. BTW. Uh, um, wait, what, uh, beta HCG oh. 38, 
uh, normal day five frozen, redrawing HCG on Monday, any hope. Uh, always have have only positive energy and be be positive. Uh, that's kind of my motto. And T is always saying, you're always so positive. And I'm blessed and lucky every day. And luck uh, trumps everything. Because the most luckiest thing that's ever happened to us, we're alive. Amazing, right? Keto lifestyle before doing another retrieval. One hour to one week to one month to one year. Uh, to me, Kiltz's keto lifestyle is a life adventure. When you're pregnant, by the way, fasting is the best way to a fertile, lasting life. Stay at it. Don't stop it. We'll be glad to, and we're working on uh, uh, fluids, maybe some vitamin supplementation, IVIG, uh, Dr. Vidali, and Predmune. Go to Predmune.com, Dr. Vidali. You might want to do more testing. You might not. It's up to you, by the way. How many rounds of Lechel Avadrill would you do six failed so far? 90% of pregnancies that occur uh, in treatments occur in the first few ones. Three, the three, three, six. Six. Yeah. three, six. three so, six. So when you get that far out, it, it, it may be time to change your treatment. Uh, but again, right, if what you're doing isn't working, ask the questions. Look at the family building guide. Uh, on, so you can get it off our website, cnyfertility.com, download for free, or you could buy a paper copy from Amazon for a nominal price. Uh, and again, all of these things help us keep our prices more affordable in all of this. Uh, and look, at if you can get it less expensive from somewhere, we need to share it with everyone. That's really the important part. If there's some open source information, you guys now run the universe, right? Uh, the journey through IVF, thank you. Uh, Laura Jocelyn. Not technically infertile, had one failed uh, FET, that's frozen embryo transfer. What can we do to be more aggressive in our second FET and how soon can we do our second FET? Well, how soon is your next cycle? Uh, what can you do to be more aggressive? Depends what you did the first time, but... Family building guide and look at our protocols are on immunology yeah. uh, for sure, but that's where, what, laparoscopy, steroscopy, keto, lifestyle, immune three and four, or let yourself trigger and keep it simple. And lots of faith. faith. Belief is in the thing you desire as if it is and never give up because faith comes facts and spirit over science. Uh, Katie Miller, hello. Laura Steven, how to overcome hypothalamic amenorrhea. What's the cause? Cause is inflammation. Cause of everything is faulty thinking. I don't know that. <laughs> it's all faulty thinking, right? Ultimately, the thought makes the thing. If we change our thoughts, it it is the thing. But my bet is a plant lectin. Look at uh, Gundry uh, or Kevin Stock uh, or or Judy Cho, Carnivore Cure. Again, don't believe me. I don't know much about fertility, except I've been doing this for 30 plus years. And my bet is a plant antigen, lectin, oxalate, phytate, uh, or chemical made by the plant, not sprayed on by humans, is the cause of that. And the other thing is, it's an interesting observation. And it's not true for everyone, but most people who have hypothalamic amenorrhea tend to be having very low body fat. And it comes back to maybe having uh, too much of a low fat environment. It's a low fat and, diet. Yeah, it, which is deadly for humans. So if you can, a, a lot of my patients who have that and who also have low BMIs, if we tell them, listen, increase the fat in your diet, it actually resolves the problem spontaneously. But not plant oils, by the way. By the way, Kiltz's Keto Ice Cream is a high fat and it's really, really good for you, in my opinion. It actually you. tastes great. Yes, I made, I made the good doctor pumpkin spice ice cream. That was an idea we had. <laughs> yes, but we had some really good pumpkin cheesecake from the Krebs. 
Uh, by the way, I made Dr. Fruki and I steak and fries cooked in duck grease, dipped in mayonnaise for Thanksgiving. And Miss Tia had the wonderful turkey dinner uh, from the Krebs on Thanksgiving. And we always a good shout out for the Krebs um, and really amazing, amazing people there. We honor them and all the amazing things that they do. Uh, Tasia, taking CBD oil, is it better to just use the oil or can you put it in a vape? I'm not a big vaping fan. I would say the oil is probably better. I mean, our lungs are not really the source to meant to be inhaling oils. Oils are meant to either be absorbed through the skin, the mucus, or consumed in the GI tract. So I would say stay away from vaping. Uh, let, let me, what? Already? Brenda Lee. Yeah. I had to cancel my idea for treatment with a different clinic. I already had a consult in August. I messaged about the NP nursing team in Buffalo the last two weeks. Got uh, to get rolling there. No response. Are you not starting new cycles due to holidays? We are, by the way. Uh, so you can text Dr. Kiltz or email Dr. Kiltz, D R Kiltz at cmyfertility.com, and I will make sure. But yes, they are. But it's been been crazy, and we're working to get everyone into the system. And I'm working to get CNY Fertility Canada and our Canadian team getting you in our system, getting EIVF rocking and rolling, and really, really helping so many, by the way. And by the way, we are here to help you get free information so you can get pregnant without paying us a dime. And you don't have to pay our patent attorneys a dime. We are here to share really it's it's a it's the masses that really must become the masters and your shining light comes up and you need to change what you're thinking and eating and remember pigs cows and sheep eat eat mush but the lions and lionesses eat the herbivores. I know. I, listen, I know it's kind of crazy, uh, but eat like a herbivore. I'm sorry, eat like <laughs> a lion at least. Yeah. And by one meal a day and adding the fat as a vegan vegetarian, it's a home run, by the way. Even a Mediterranean. Uh, and, and that's the amazing part to all of this, so, by the way. So, uh, all right, next question. We'll just keep going because I'm just going to sign off and go right back to. Uh, Kiltz's Keto Conversations. Well, maybe go another half. Are you guys up for another half an hour or should I cut it now? Uh, Bethany, why don't you answer that question? Uh, does the positive ANA with no underlying findings by the rheumatologist make it harder to get pregnant? Let's hope Dr. Kiltz Keto helps. Well, actually, it, it is going to help. Positive ANA, depending on your uh, ANA values, uh, there's quite a few people who have no problems who have positive ANA. Um, I don't think it's in the context of fertility that I don't think that anything that we find is insignificant. So um, you might have an ANA of let's say one on 160, that's 8% of the normal population, but you're coming to us because you can't have a baby. We would definitely take that into account. That's an immune it's all, so situation. If you're infertile, repetitive losses, late losses, stillbirths, yeah. Uh, it's all inflammation and the immune system is, it trumps everything. My bet is the problem is we're eating a plant-based low fat diet rather than a carnivore keto like lifestyle, which ultimately is fat and fat is the soap for the glycocalyx, which will help the microbiome uh, and reduce inflammation. In fact, uh, we use a lot of intralipids in, uh, in people who have high ANA. Well, what is intralipids? Fat. It's fat. Yeah. And, and uh, no animal purposely would give up eating fat and go exercise to get skinny because <laughs> they're going to be dead in the famine that's coming. I tell all women, no matter if you're overweight, you're ready and fertile. Your carrying of extra weight is not the cause of your infertility but it's the sign that you're eating a high plant-based, healthy recommended diet rather than Kiltz's Keto lifestyle, 
which is basically the making baby plan. And when you're fat, you're fertile, and you need to change your attitude about what you are. You need to look in the mirror and see the beautiful, amazing queen and kings. There was a question about best way to improve sperm. Simple. Kilts is keto. Check out a molecular fertility supplements for men and women. But again, there may be no scientific evidence that this is the key, but it's just another additive product that may be beneficial. And that's what we're learning to, to share in all this. And my opinion is go to Carnivore Keto is the king, uh, one meal a day and get off the treadmill. Now, you know that Kilts has been doing a little bit, and I, I don't know, I, I'm trying to keep myself, uh, I too am a little egotistical. I gained an extra 20 over this two years of COVID, and I, I, work, I work to reduce a little bit uh, uh, of it, uh, but I've been kind of like on my, on my cycling machine for about 30 minutes a day. Uh, but I'm also using it to, to focus on the mind. So I think it's important. Uh, you want to get Carrie. Carrie Lynn. Hi, doctors. Good to see you all. Question for you. I have a higher level of cholesterol. Should I skip the lipids? No, actually, no. A lot of times when you have the, the keto diet, paradoxically, your cholesterol levels get better. Yes. yes. And, and cholesterol, the last I looked, was a precursor for all our hormones, <laughs> all our cells, our yeah. neurons. And in fact, the science of statins is another money-making ploy. Money and machine. then we get all afraid, oh my God, my cholesterol is too high and I need a statin. My friends, uh-uh. You need the carnivore plan, which is uh, Kiltz's Keto Lifestyle, which is the one meal, high fat, low to no carbs, and remember what you put in the mind and mouth and how you move the Ferrari matters most. But I think the lipids are helpful, right? Yeah. Uh, Stacy, is swimming good for exercise to keep everything cool but circulation throughout the body? My brother Ray is a uh, – brother Ray uh, rock and rolls and swimming. Uh, swimming, but again, yes, cool the body. You want to be able to breathe through your motion. And rather than exercise, let's call it motion. And uh, and and I think it's nice and slow. Nice and slow as you yeah, go. Yeah. Right? Yep. Uh, yeah. Trisha. I lost 20 pounds on keto. I was down to 113, felt too skinny. What should I do? Add the ice cream. You're not eating enough calories. You need to add more calories, and that's through fat and maybe some sugar. Uh, but from time to time, not all the time. Uh, my bet is we're, we're, we're trying too much to be skinny and being skinny is deadly. Yeah. And you want to give your fat a lot of love, by the way. Um, here's a good question. Does, it's not moral, it's molar pregnancy indicate bad egg quality. Could it's it? it's uh, bad egg, bad it, sperm, it, it, bad embryo. And it also, in a lot of cases, it's the wrong kind of fertilization that happens that causes it. But it, we see molar pregnancy also in very young women who, who supposedly have good egg quality. So it's, it's, usually, it's usually caused by? Likely. It's, well, we don't really know, but we inflammation. suspect inflammation. It's all inflammation. It's all inflammation for sure. Caffeine during pregnancy. I don't see anything wrong with that, but uh, anything in moderation is okay. It's a plant chemical, moderation, boyfriends and yeah. girlfriends on the side, is that okay? No. Uh, so a... Uh, a is it okay if it's in moderation? It, well, again, it's... Uh, so I, it, won't, it won't work with me. Look, it eliminate <laughs> and minimize caffeine. Yeah. Certainly alcohol is out, uh, but a little bit of caffeine from time to time, uh, water, not wine, beer, or spirits, um, and... Uh, you know, when you're pregnant, you got your you got your 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 beautiful baby in there, and so ultimately, caffeine is a plant chemical, right? Yeah. So, uh, let's see what else do we have here. Massage. Uh, will you be doing massage at Albany location? Uh, acupuncture, and I think we are going to be bringing back massage too, and we're working to bring back Rochester with Heather Smith and some others. 
to provide some massage and acupuncture, uh, lipids, uh, fluids, and really, really in, uh, add back to those ideas to bring our total team back into place uh, in all of this. Danielle, uh, hello. Hi, how are you doing? Yes. Uh, you guys are amazing. Thank you for sharing. If also, also we, the, the, I can see that a few of our patients are posting their success stories. And that's actually very, very important that you keep doing that because it's kind of like paying it forward. You, a lot of people who succeed need to share that with the people who are trying because they need to see what happens when you keep going. And, 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 and so we, we live by the stories, all of us. Yeah. Listen, we're here to believe in you and give you accolades of positivity. And, and we're really here not to put any of our, uh, of our colleagues in any other light other than a good light. And that's what we want to focus on for all of this, by the way. Type 2 diabetes is caused by a plant-based three to six meals a day. It's simple. Go to one meal, add the fat, and hemoglobin A1C, get it down less than six for sure. Uh, and again, hemoglobin A1C is a sign of too much carbs, which means it's too much inflammation. Yeah. It's only inflammation, which I know is so crazy in all of this, by the way. Uh, I All I eat is fresh lamb or goat for Mediterranean. Uh, it's, uh, let us know where you're getting these things from because we want to share these ideas with everyone. Goat and lamb and pork and beef. Uh, I'm not a big fish fan because the fish in the oceans are contaminated. Too many plastics in there, by the way, which I think uh, is, is really a big problem. And then all the drugs that we consume go out of our bodies into the water and all over the world. And so uh, that's why we're about less drugs, by the way. If anything that we can do is share a way for you to conceive a baby naturally, that's the way, by the way. You want to get that one? Um, uh, so excited for my retrieval. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're so excited for my retrieval in January at, in Syracuse. Just happened to start my LDN low-dose naltrexone on Thursday, and I've been so tired since, but a small price to pay. When you're um, tired, what should you do? Rest. Rest. Oh, by the way, rest is super important. More naps. Yesterday, yeah. what if we came home after? Uh, uh, yeah, but well, we, we had so many patients yesterday. We woke up at 4, had a uh, coffee, a little chat. What do we do when we chat? Positive. We share positivity. We listen to inspiring YouTube videos and positivity. We talk yeah. about positive ideas and how we can all improve, all of us, as a fertile family. Remember, all of the REIs and OBGYNs and all uh, practitioners in this world, whether you're a chiropractor, an acupuncture, massage therapist, or uh, a naturalist, we're all sharing ideas and ways to improve our what? Well-being. Fertile lives yes. and well-being. Yes. That is really it. So uh, I think we need more naps. We are not taking enough naps. And, and that's why one meal, three naps a day at least, but a lot of prayer and meditation. We all need to be praying and meditating Far more than we're doing, by the way. Far more. Do you support any cleanses for fertility? The best cleanse is what? I'm not much. I don't know much about cleanses. Fasting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fasting. Yeah. Water fasts. Uh, one, two, or three days of fasting, depending on the amount of fat you have. Remember, fat is always the fuel for the mitochondria. We do not go from sugar to fat. Insulin resistance does not occur. Uh, and our brains and our muscles burn uh, short-chain fatty acids that convert into acetyl-CoA like that, like that. That's the amazing part. What about algae DHA? Don't know. Uh, I, you know, obviously DHEA, omega-3s, uh, and if you're using, and I, this is where if you look at the glycocalyx, uh, you'll understand that 
that things like algae, algae, DHEA may be helpful to reduce inflammation and support the negative charge sulfate particles that are critical. Uh, but I'm not a big fan of these cleanses. Some people do teas and coffee cleanses, but ultimately the most important thing is probably keto. You want to get that one? Heather, uh, should I consult? I had a fresh transfer uh, on the 3rd of November, miscarried today. It was the first time ever getting pregnant. Did not test the embryos, ready to just jump back in in a few months. And I think that's the right way to go. Um, actually, Rob, do you test a lot of embryos? We test some, but we were not a big recommender of the testing. We recommend that every embryo should be given a chance. Uh, you know, because truthfully, we, we're not really that good at predicting which one gets pregnant, which one doesn't, even when we test them. Uh, yeah, I don't know that. Is geritol a better vitamin than prenatal pills before pregnancy? Make sure it has enough folic acid. Don't know that answer. No one, none of us knows which is the very best supplement out there. Yeah. We're all selling snake oil in some way. Uh, the FDA, FTC, or whoever really hasn't proven uh, any of this, by the way. The recommended dose of CoQ10 for a 26-year young, uh, two to 600 milligrams a day. But I don't know that we really know that, in my opinion. But this is where uh, I think that the, the uh, uh, bone marrow, uh, look at core as a place to get really great uh, bone broth, bone marrow, liver supplement, liver supplements or eating liver. Uh, but no, no garlic and, and no onions, which I think are da damaging. Uh, cerevital uh, with omnitrope during stems. Uh, cerevital or somaderm, just another over-the-counter uh, human growth hormone supplement. I don't know that we know that answer ultimately. So we have to be very careful in this in this scientific fertile world. Uh, Doctor, what protocol would you suggest for me? Who was pregnant with twins and lost both at 20 weeks. Yeah, that's uh, actually too bad. I'm sorry. Uh, yes. Um, truthfully, we need to know what happened here. Uh, there's lots of causes for losing twins. First of all, uh, twins by itself is a high risk pregnancy. Inflammation, though, is the key. Yeah. And, and uh, so uh, looking at the immune three and four protocols, maybe even consider a cerclage depending on the conditions. Yeah. And, and I think an antibiotic uh, or the antimicrobial and the histamine and the anti-endo protocols may be really helpful. But most of all, uh, we need to follow you and use the three and four immune protocols throughout your pregnancy, maybe even continue progesterone and oil or extra progesterone supplements or IVIG, maybe 10 grams every two weeks throughout your pregnancy might be something really good to do. Look at uh, Predimune, I think it is, through Dr. Vidali, uh, can be very helpful for sure. Um, uh, Ida Johannes, is there another one? There is the another VA one. Fair Place, Halal Meat and Groceries. In every city you live, try to Google the closest Mediterranean grocery market. We're from the Mediterranean, ultimately, yeah. or Mediterranean environments. Uh, but, and again, you're looking for fatty meat. Uh, and again, eating less frequently and one meal a day uh, could be very helpful. Uh, opinions on NAD plus and GSH injections. Uh, growth, I'm not sure what those oh, are. Right. Uh, I think granul granulites. Oh, GCSF maybe yeah. or Nupogen. Yeah. I think they could be helpful. I haven't used NAD uh, injections, but, you know, people talk about NAD, NAC, uh, I, again, there's a lot of talk and recommendations. Uh, the supplement world is not is a lot of opinions. We'll say that for sure. And and, and the, one of the biggest uh, uh, situations going on is a lot of people who give these opinions then go and make the medicine. So, yes, and we will take we will we will accept the fact that we make supplements that we talk about. Yeah. And again, the science isn't always straightforward in mm -hmm. all this. Uh, so, but again, there, there's, is it, you want to get quality and affordable supplements. Uh, a multivitamin is generally recommended, folic acid for sure. For those that are low in vitamin D, they may be at high risk of inflammatory conditions like COVID. 
Uh, check well, no, out. That's definitely the case here. Yes, and and, and again, uh, Keto <laughs> for Fertility Cookbook, Maria uh, and Craig, uh, Maria Emmerich has helped us put this, this together. Uh, and we're sometimes we don't write all the right things in here. I apologize. I'm working on my team to recognize we never burn sugar and then burn fat. We always burn fat. Insulin resistance doesn't occur and obesity doesn't cause disease. It's the best genetics ever created for survival. It the get fat gene is the most amazing thing ever, by the way. Christy O'Neill, do you want to get that, Doctor? Yeah, so Christy is. PIO, which is progesterone in oil injections form better than suppositories. At the end, the, the results on the tissue levels is pretty much the same. But maybe yeah. so. Again, we, we yeah. don't know which is the right one for each individual. We're yeah. looking to do something different. And if what you're doing isn't working, then do something else. Uh, I think that is really uh, important. What about timing? of PIO shots, transfers Friday morning, so morning shots. Um, the uh, well, at first, most, most of our patients do it in the evening because it's easier for them. Their husbands are there. Or a partner is uh, there, yeah. or a neighbor is there, yeah. or someone is there. Yeah. So remember, so, we take care of uh, uh, transgender, lesbian, single, married, it doesn't matter who you are. It's We take care of every human being and honor each and every one of you, by the way. So... so so the, the, but the duration of action of a shot is very long. So once you get started and you have a lot of flexibility on timing your shots, it could be early in the evening, one day, a little bit later the next day, it probably won't change much. So I don't think that if you're taking in the evening, you'll give yourself a morning shot, it's gonna do much for you. In general, that, yeah. in general, for those that haven't had an ERA or a peak, we're, we're, we're starting the first progesterone, whether, whether it be a vaginal, oral, or intramuscular injection, approximately noon, and then transferring uh, on uh, day four and six of progesterone uh, within between nine and three o'clock in the afternoon right. in general. But there may be some more specifics for you individually, depending on if you had the ERA or ER, ER peak. Ovarian bloom while pregnant. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a supplement. These are supplements that we think that once you're pregnant, you want to stick to the uh, the molecular fertility uh, prenatal. Essentially, yeah. should be enough. Uh, but the ovarian bloom may be helpful yeah. also. Um, the most important is is to stay Kilsis keto yeah. lifestyle for fertility. And and by the way, most supplements available in America have to be. Uh, at least uh, go through some process of approval. So you, I don't think it's legal. No approval. To, no, no but, approval. I, but I, I don't think it's legal no to approval. put uh, supplements which be nope. dangerous for babies. They're F, well, but again, except vitamin A. Actually. But again, it's the just, FDA and the FTC have not done, they're not drug tested. So you want to make sure, obviously, that the source is is quality source in all of this. Yeah. That's really it. Well. What I mean by approval, it's not proved. You don't have to prove that it works, but you cannot sell a supplement if there's a danger to a fetus. Well, of course, of course. Yeah. But but again, you all, everyone yeah. has to be careful to know where their supplements come from. Yeah. But they do not go through the same FDA sourcing that a drug company that has a that has a, a drug. It's completely different in America. Mini IVF, how many daily shots? Uh, it depends on what protocol. I mean. What's the beginning? well? Our mini is is letrozole ten, uh, gonal folostim two hundred, and HCG twenty. You can do so that could be two you, shots. You can <laughs> mix the HCG with the the gonal or folostim and give it at one shot. Yeah. Uh, in general, it's just a one shot a day, and then and and then the gamma relics, which are added between day five and day ten to twelve of the cycle. So you may yeah. be doing two shots a day. Uh, is it better to do a lap before an egg retrieval? Eight hours. Or after an egg retrieval. Could go either way, uh, but before transfer for sure, uh, I think that's 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 important. Level supposed to be a P4 if you got pregnant. Progesterone levels over 10, over two, 20, 20 to 40. It's, it's very variable even in, yeah. in during the day. So and it, it has to be somewhat high. 
to support the pregnancy. Over 10 yeah. is considered adequate, but we often look for 20 yeah. as a sort of a level where we're pushing for. Sarah, having a lap done, how long can I plan on being out of work for healing times as a dental assistant? What do you think, a week? Yeah, 10 days, a week. A few days yeah. to a week yeah. should be good. I had a lap for hernia repair in August. I kind of took about a week and a half, but I was still doing calls. A uh, 30-year young woman do embryo transfer. Can you? Yes, you can. Do we recommend one? We do. Individualized on those decisions, wouldn't you say? Yeah. So at 30, our, our go-to idea would be to transfer one. However, you haven't got pregnant, you've done this multiple times, or you've had other things happen to you that might reduce your pregnancy, uh, probably your pregnancy, then we will go and do two. Is IVF without injections possible? So someone that uh, rather than injections, urine is mostly used. Uh, you can do a natural cycle IVF with no meds, uh, letrozole, oral, Clomid oral, uh, but you need to take that one trigger shot of HCG. If theoretically you could do a urinary check and do a retrieval the next day, but there's a higher risk of getting no eggs. We don't recommend it, but you can do it. Uh, it might not be the thing that works and, for you. And for the money that it'll, it'll actually cost you to do it, you probably do, won't get much uh, benefit by doing it in a natural cycle like that. Uh, Stacy Uchima, U Uchiyama, you can do a medicated higher dose protocols. We just haven't found a benefit to doing higher dose. I recommend mini pretty much for everyone, even natural cycles. We've seen so much success for that. Uh, so the why part of it, you know, again, we're just sharing our thoughts or ideas. Morgan Fertility, hello. Uh, soon to be Mrs. Uh, again, hello, hello, hello to everyone. You guys are amazing. I think we're going to be closing up in just a couple of minutes. Uh, Kilsa's Keto Lifestyle, I'm making it up. It's not proprietary. I've learned from so many. Uh, look at Marie Emmerich. Look at Sean Baker. Look at Paul Saladino. Uh, look at Judy Cho. Uh, but the list goes on. Uh, we're going to be doing our uh, daily live Sundays at 10 a.m. Eastern. And then at 11-ish, I'm going to do a conversations with Kilts and talking mostly about keto. keto. The key to a fertile life <laughs> is keto, by the way. Nice, nice play on words. It's all a play on words, by the way. And to everyone, a Thanksgiving but it's a celebration of our indigenous roots for all of us. We are hunters, occasional gatherers. We ate one meal a day or less. Get back to that simple thing. Add the fat. Go slow in your life. Listen and learn from the, those that have experienced life. And if they didn't have troubles, they probably didn't experience enough in life. You gotta have troubles and problems in life. And I think we've had a lot of them. Yeah, we did. <laughs> and I'm very blessed. Uh, thank you to uh, my daughter, Pilar, my ex-wife, Gina, and my partner, Tia, for all of them have created much of my life. But mom and dad and our parents uh, are currently our teachers of life. But we are learning from each and every one of you and for that, we thank you. We uh, thank you, guys. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you again. I'm always sharing new and different ideas. The more we honor everyone in life, the better, the better, and the better. So signing off, we'll see you guys next week or in, in uh, let's see, in Montreal, in Colorado, in Atlanta, in Sarasota, in Philadelphia, uh, let's see, in Albany. Rochester, Buffalo, or Syracuse. And uh, we love you guys and gals and all of you. No gender descriptions. Uh, we want to cover everyone in life. That's the important part to this story. We love you. We love you. We love you. See you guys and gals. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.